So you're thinking about buying a home in Forney, Texas, but you're also wondering, well, isn't Forney kind of out there in the middle of nowhere and it's just country and tumbleweeds and dust storms and you know, all that stuff that you see in the old Western movies? Not quite, but I tell you what, Forney is a very happening place right now. Although it is a little, seems like it's out in the country right now. I mean, it reminds me a lot of my hometown. I grew up in a small town called Stephenville, Texas, just about two hours south of Dallas. And the thing is, is that Forney kind of reminds Reminds me of that. The population right now is around 28,000. My hometown was really about 15,000 and about 5,000 of that came from the college, the local college. So it just really kind of feels like that old Texas country town, but it's one of the absolute fastest growing cities in one of the fastest growing counties in the country right now, just as recent as 2021 and 2022 in the top three in the nation. So four is absolutely booming but the good news for you is that home prices are still pretty good you can get some pretty good deals but also right now new construction is going up everywhere around there and the communities that they are building are going to be second to none I think they're trying to compete with Frisco and Prosper up there by the way which we have videos on Frisco and Prosper that you should absolutely check out not to mention Plano and McKinney even Allen you know make sure you check those out after this video but really Forney's an animal of its own because it's on the east side of Dallas. But you can see here, Forney is right just east of Dallas, only about 20 minutes, taking 80 that turns into I-30 and you'll be down to downtown Dallas in no time. Now, that is nice in proximity whenever you look at the mileage, 20 miles, but in the commute wise, I would say this would be one of the downsides to living in Forney. But we're going to cover all of that in this video because this is going to be the absolute best overview and the best pro and cons, the good and the bad, the yin and the yang of living in Forney, Texas, and we're going to get into it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Dallas, Texas and the surrounding areas like Forney, well, make sure you subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas. My name is Levi I'm and my business partner, Travis, the team, we get calls, texts, emails all the time. We love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email or even schedule a Zoom call, our favorite, all in the description below. Happy to help you make that smooth move to Dallas. So as we talk about Forney today, I want you to leave a comment and let us know, have you lived Lived here before or are you living in Forney right now? Let us know what you like about Forney, what you don't like about Forney. I want to hear from you. That way it helps the other people watching this video that are thinking about buying a home or selling their home here in Forney. And I can only give my thoughts and opinions based on my experience and I want to hear from the homeowners right now. So as we dig into Forney, Texas, there's a lot happening and going on there. Let me jump into my computer real quick and just show you right here on the map. So as we showed you just earlier, Forney is only about 20 minutes east of downtown Dallas. But if we zoom in here now, this is one of the great things. I would say one of the first great things about being in Forney is the lake. You've got Lake Ray Hubbard just just north of Forney right here and you can see you border just south of Heath so as you head over here this is one of the most popular parks right here Terry Park when you head over there by the way if you haven't seen our video on Heath we take you there in that area with the sunset which you can capture some of the best sunsets in all of Dallas on that east side of Lake Ray Hubbard absolutely amazing of course you're not too far here from the Heath Golf and Yacht Club which are right here as well easily accessible from Forney you can see just south of here this is going to be I would say say your main attraction of living in Forney is going to the lake. This is something that we love to do here in the Dallas area is our lake life because we don't have mountains or beach, but we do have the lakes and Lake Ray Hubbard, one of the best lakes to go out and go boating, fishing, skiing, all that good stuff. And then if you're hunkered down around here on the south side, or if your boat is at the yacht club, you can go up here all the way up to the Harbor District in Rockwall, right over here in dock right there as well, which by the way, we've got a full vlog tour on Rockwall that you could check out and see everything that's happening over there at the Harbor District. So in proximity, you've got things to do. You could completely avoid traffic or even going into downtown Dallas just by having Heath and Rockwall in your backyard as well as the lake. And that's what's really going to keep you busy during the summertime. You know, other than that, if you want to really dig into the pros of living in Forney, Texas right now, I'd say number one is going to be affordable housing. This is why a lot of people are making that move to Forney because Frisco, Prosper, Salon, 
Carolina, Plano, those areas are getting a little pricey right there. And now you can find brand new construction homes down in Forney and there's so much room to grow. If we jump back into the map and take a look, you will notice all this green space on the outside of Forney. Everything out here is room to grow. You'll notice all this space in Forney on the outside, plenty of room to grow. You can see all of this and of course more green space on the outside of Forney. That's why you feel like you're out in the country even though you're only 20 minutes outside of Dallas. This is all developing at this time and has been for the last couple of years. But if we zoom in here, you're going to see that you've got a main center of downtown. This is the newer area where you've got the Walmart Super Center. You've got Mexican restaurants, Lowe's. You've got the theater, Mod Pizza, Kohl's, Kroger Marketplace, Wingstop, you can see. So everything is kind of condensed on the new side of Forney in this area. And then if you venture over here to where the Forney tag is right here, you have the historic downtown. And in my opinion, of course, you know, I love all things historic and old, although I'm getting a new house. But down in the old historic district is where you find just a couple of little shops and a nice little coffee shop, but really not much going on there, even though it's one of the oldest historic, you know, districts in the Dallas area, but just never really developed. Again, this was kind of an old sleepy town and now it's blowing up more and more. But if you want affordable housing, this is why a lot of people are making that move to Forney because they're finding better deals on new construction in the threes and even in the fours. And you can even find some deals in the 200s, about 250,000 or above. A little bit more rare these days, but a lot of communities out there, there's some that have those types of properties. So if you wanna be in a new construction home at a lower price point, this is where you would wanna look. But I tell you what, the competition is heating up right now. Now, if you look at the least expensive home on the market right now, it's as low as 182,000. So you can get into a three bedroom, two bath home for under 200,000 in Forney. Now, depending on your taste, it's probably going to need some work and a little bit of upgrading in there. Uh, you could probably move in there, but again, you may wanna just touch up a few things while you get in there. But otherwise, the most expensive home that's listed right now on the market is 5.995 million, $5,995,000. But get this, it's seven, thousand square feet on 50 acres. So if you want to be 20 minutes outside of Dallas on a 50 acre ranch with a 7,000 square foot home, you can get that for under $6 million in Forney. Now, when you look at what's sold recently in Forney, the least expensive home that is sold has been $110,000. So you can get a home just above $100,000 in Forney. Now that's not currently on the market right now, but it is possible. Again, gonna be older, probably gonna need some work, depending on your taste, to get it up to speed and move in ready. The most expensive home that is sold in Forney recently has just been over a million, $1,050,000. And again, you have opportunity out here in Forney to find some homes with land or a little bit out just away from everybody else. So that's the cool thing about Forney. If you like a little slower pace of life in that country feel, then Forney could be a really good option for you because it has the growth, it has the opportunity, it has the appreciation that will continue to rise in the Forney area, but it still has that small town feel. And whenever it gets to affordability, Forney has a score of 93 compared to 100 as the being the average when it comes to cost of living. So it's on the lower side of cost of living across the national average. On addition to that, 75% of the residents own their home. So you have a very high owner rate versus a rental rate, which is always going to be good for home values looking in the future, especially with the new construction in the communities that are getting developed around town. Now, as I mentioned, new construction is gonna be another one of the strong pros of moving to Forney, Texas, because right now you have quite a few options if you're looking for new construction. Now, inventory is still low, and I've been out in the communities recently a lot. Uh, because we're working with a ton of clients, believe it or not. I know what everybody out there is saying that everything is slow down, nobody's buying anything, but that's not what we're seeing. I just contracted on my own personal house in the middle of this market with six and a half interest rates. I'll be making a video about that as well so you can get a better understanding of why I would buy in this type of market. But the thing is, is that people are not waiting anymore. They have to move or they wanna move or they're ready to make a change and they're just not gonna sit around and wait for that anymore. So there's lots of options you can look into, especially with buy down right now, sellers and builders are offering concessions. So if you're able to buy down a rate, you can get into the mid fours right now, and you're likely going to have a good chance to refinance that over the next six to 12 to 18 months and get it back down there 
held permanently, which is a great thing for you to be able to find something now before if interest rates do drop down, we know a lot of buyers are going to flood back into the market. But when it comes to new construction, there's several communities that are really going to be top of the line and really drawing a lot of attention in Forney. Number one is going to be Tapestry. So Tapestry is a Telus Group signature community. And if you're any fan of Winsong Ranch, by the way, we've got videos on Winsong Ranch as well, then you're not going to want to miss out on this opportunity. They will be opening up soon within the next year. And this is from the developers of Winsong Ranch. So Winsong Ranch is where I'm buying my new house right now, just because I love that area so much in that community. I think there's a tremendous amount of growth and opportunity. But if you want that at a lower price where more development is happening, then over here in Forney is where you're going to have that opportunity. So Tapestry is from the award-winning developers of Winsong Ranch and Mosaic, the Telus Group. It's going to be located in Northwest Kaufman County, Texas. It'll be a truly great family community with easy access to the major employment homes in the greater Dallas area. This beautiful master plan community will be the place of distinction for families to enjoy for generations. Now, another community that's happening in Forney is Gateway Parks. Gateway is a 2,000 acre master plan development in Forney offering families and businesses a peaceful setting in which to live, work, and play. Luxury multifamily communities, retail, office, and entertainment venues on the north side of US 80 are linked by the new $23 million Gateway Bridge to light commercial, office, and single-family residential neighborhoods called Gateway Parks on the south side via Gateway Boulevard. The initial development phases on the north side of US 80 are already complete and more phases are currently underway. Gateway Boulevard South was constructed for easy access from US 80 to Gateway Parks, a 540 acre single family home community that will consist of about 1,850 homes once completed. This offers families affordable living with plenty of popular amenities, including hike and bike trails, resort style amenity center with multiple pools, a splash pad, a spacious clubhouse, creative play areas, and the future potential on site elementary school. And I tell you what, it is going to be absolutely amazing. But probably one of my favorite opportunities coming up here in Forney as well is the Bellagio by the Mega community because they are building a white sandy lagoon which is very similar to Winsong Ranch which well they'll probably have one in tapestry as well. So they say lagoon life is coming soon to Forney Texas and Laguna Azor provides residents with an entirely reimagined vision for luxury living by offering amenities that enhance the quality of life. The expansive master plan communities features white sand beaches, clear blue water, and activities galore for everyone to enjoy. The beautifully landscaped properties have manicured and functional spaces dedicated to fitness, wellness, and relaxation. You will feel like you are on vacation when you're coming home to this innovative design featuring the lagoon and all the communities have to offer. And the lagoon is a big reason why I'm moving into Winsong Ranch because it's amazing. I mean, what better way to feel like you're in the Caribbean than in your own neighborhood? But other than that the amenities are going to be very high end and top quality in these communities and it's something that I would be looking for if I were making that move over to Forney. And when it comes to new commercial construction, you have developments like the Victory Shops and Trail House Parks that are going to change the downtown area as well. So the Victory Shops at Forney will feature new tenants in the areas such as Kohl's, Aspen Dental, Mo Betis, Swig, Dallas, Jamba Juice, Chiloso tex -Mex, and the Joint Chiropractic and more. The entire infrastructure and retail building is expected to deliver in the first quarter of 2022, and Victory Group has proudly partnered with Due West Realty to continue working on leasing development of the site. Trail House Park is a master plan walkable development located 20 minutes east of downtown Dallas. So it has excellent restaurant and retail pad sites for ground lease or build to suit, visibility and exposure to US Highway 80, and excellent from both east and westbound traffic. And you have great access not only from the frontage road, but from the internal drives east to the Trailhouse Lane. And it's situated just west of major retail intersections in Forney, Texas, and close to several large employers, including Amazon and Goodyear distribution centers. And that is one of the big things that have happened recently in Forney is the Amazon distribution center that's opened up, which has created uh, quite a few jobs in that area, which leads to the median income in Forney being around $93,000. Now, when it comes to schools, if you look online at niche.com, it's going to give the overall school system in Forney about an A minus. Now, if you look at some of the elementary schools, you're going to see those are much higher rated anywhere from seven to nine throughout Forney. Now, when you get to the two main high schools, which is Forney High School and North Forney High School, those have lower ratings. So you want to make sure you check online to see all the reasons 
reasons why the writings apply to the schools as is. Otherwise, from what I know from people that live there, they do love the schools. They love the school system. I haven't heard any complaints from an anecdotal standpoint, but again, if you're looking just strictly online at ratings, you'll see the two high schools around six and seven. So you want to just understand why they're rated the way they are. But otherwise, they've got everything you need at these schools, especially whenever it comes to athletics. You have cross country, tennis, volleyball, golf, water polo, basketball, soccer, swimming, powerlifting, baseball, track, and of course, football. You know we all love Friday Night Lights. We were actually just at a family's house the other day. We did a little drop by to say hello, one of our clients, and they were telling us how they bought season tickets to the Forney High School football team. So they go there every Friday night. Rain, sun, shine, snow, sleet. I don't know, whatever the saying may be. It doesn't matter. They go every Friday night when it's football season to check it out. It's one of the happening things there to do in Forney because I'll tell you a little bit about that when it comes to the cons as well. But otherwise, that will be the excitement during football season. But as far as athletics go, plenty to do for the kids, plenty of a wide variety for sports, and they're not too bad. So just check them out and see what may fit for your kids. Now again, one of the other pros of living in Forney, Texas is going to be outdoor activities. You've got the Community Center Park right dead central in Forney, which is huge. I mean, there's everything you could do there. There's playgrounds, there's soccer fields, basketball courts. I mean, it goes on and on. And on top of that, there's extensive trails to hike and bike all around there. And there's several parks scattered throughout Forney that you can take advantage of hiking and biking as well. Plus, you're out there, so if you've got any friends with some land or anywhere around there, but you can also go over to Lake Ray Hubbard, bike some trails, hike around the parks that circle that lake. But the main thing, the main attraction, again, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be going to the lake, enjoying lake life there, because that would be one of the biggest cons of living in Forney, Texas, is I will say that eh, there's not really much going on there, okay? <laughs> not a lot to do. Let's just be honest about it. You know, when you buy season tickets, it's for Friday night light football that should tell you what's going on around there now not that you don't need a lot of excitement in your life but I think that's why a lot of people head over to Forney's because they just want nice easy life you know away from the hustle and bustle doesn't really feel like you're in Dallas even though you got Dallas just 20 minutes away so it's a lot more manageable as I mentioned it really gives you that small town feel and you're just outside of the big city so if you're looking for a slower pace of life and you want to partake in more country activities especially like life Life, then Forney is going to be a great fit for you and your family. All right, another con of living in Forney, Texas is going to be traffic. And there's no way around it. Traffic is just not that great in Forney. It's terrible, actually. There is a website that rated uh, all the cities in Texas. Forney ranked number three as far as worst traffic. So just something to keep in mind. Now, the reason being is because the amount of growth is just exploding there. The city has grown 300% in the last decade, and they're expecting another 350% growth by 2030. So that's a lot happening right there. They can only build out the roads so much. And I'm just going to warn you here in Texas, we are always working on our roads. I feel like they're never ending projects everywhere. So you can look at that as a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, they do a good job of expanding the roads all throughout Dallas, but that thoroughfare over to Forney, not quite developed yet. So if you're commuting to downtown Dallas, it's going to be a little bit of a hassle if you're going during peak times. If you're commuting back, coming home, at peak times, it's not going to be fun either. So you're going to get stuck in traffic quite a bit. Now, only being 20 minutes, that's going to push you probably around 45 minutes on your average commute. And then around Forney as well, getting to some of these communities, they don't have the best stoplight system in one of the areas, mainly south on the older side, you know, south of uh, US 80, that highway down there, you can get pretty bottleneck. And again, short stoplights as of the last time I was down there, hopefully they change that stuff. It's just one of those scenarios you don't want to get caught up in trust me it's just a problem but you work around it and you want to make sure test that out whenever you're checking out some of these new communities come back during peak times just kind of cruise around check it out and again if you're working from home or you have remote work or you don't have to leave during peak times you're probably going to be okay but that would be one of the other downsides of living in Forney is that you're about 45 to 50 minutes away from the airport and that's 45 to 50 minutes without any traffic so now you can kind of hit George Bush Tollway. If I show you in the map here again, uh, you know, right where Forney is, you're going to come off of 80, 
probably hit 635 to try to head right over to the Dallas Fort Worth International area. That's probably going to be the easiest way. Depending on traffic, you could also try to come through 30, cut through downtown, which is not that bad, and right up to 183 and then come up to the south entrance of the Dallas Fort Worth area. You know, where I live now down in this area, this is the way I would always come over to the airport, which is a not a bad shot. It's pretty easy. You could also hit 30 all the way over here and hit 360 and take that all the way up into. So you've got three three different routes. And really, if you wanted to backtrack and come up George Bush Tollway, you could do that as well. So you've got four different routes that you've got that you can make your way over to the airport. So if you're a regular commuter through the airline industry, Forney is not going to be really ideal for you, although you could make it work. But I mean, if you're going to be traveling on a weekly basis, that's something you're going to have to deal with every single week getting over to the airport. So that could be a downside. But again, hey, some people like to drive and they like to commute and they don't worry about that. So it is what it is. But other than that, not the best location if you're a regular traveler to the airport. All right, another downside to living in Forney, Texas is going to be the food. I want to say food. I don't know. I guess it's more of like lack of choice of food. There's quite a few chains happening there, fast food. So your individual mom and pop shops, they're not as plentiful as they are in Dallas or really high end restaurants, not as plentiful as they are in Dallas. So you're just going to kind of have the regular go to places. You'll probably have a one or two mom and pop Mexican restaurants, one or two mom and pop barbecue places. That's about it. Other than that, you're going to have uh, uh, you know, you saw the Chili's, you saw the Sonic, you saw, I don't even, do they have Chick-fil-A? They, I think they have Chick-fil-A there. If they don't have Chick-fil-A, I don't know, you could be out. But they do have Chipotle though, so that's okay, Chipotle. But otherwise, your typical fast food restaurants are gonna be there. Your fast food, or not your fast food, but your chain restaurants are going to be there. And that's kind of like that small town feel. I mean, Walmart Supercenter is kind of a big deal. I remember whenever they put in the Walmart Supercenter in my hometown, back in the early 90s, I believe. Yeah, that was a big deal. We thought we had arrived. I mean, it, we thought the mall had been uh, built in our city. That's what it felt like. We didn't have a lot growing up, but that was kind of like the cool thing to go to the Walmart Supercenter. So as far as food choices, not a lot of options around there. I do like the little coffee shop downtown, historic downtown. They've got some good pastries, some good sandwiches. You know, that's about as boutique as I've run into around there. But other than that, if food's not really that big of a deal, well, you can always go grocery shopping. You know, if you like to cook at home, I mean, that's probably what most people do. And then they just head out on a Friday night night, especially with the family, you're probably eating at home anyway. So as long as you got groceries, you're probably good to go. But if you want to head out for a night on the town, get some good food, you're going to be a little bit limited and yeah, just not a lot of options. So I would say that's a pretty big downside because that's a big deal to me. And the other downside to living in Forney, Texas is going to be the new construction. Even though the new construction is a pro of living in Forney, it's also a con because a lot of the communities, if you move into them, they're half built, you know, they're going to be developing over the next one to three to five five years, depending on the size of it. And you know, that could be a problem for some people. But and what I look at is that anytime you get into a new construction community, your home is always likely to appreciate don't quote me on that, but it's always likely to appreciate. So the sooner you get into a new construction community, that's the advantage, you usually get better deals, some better incentives. But as that community develops and builds out, that's where the appreciation starts to happen. Of course, any new construction homes, they start to release as the inventory gets less in that community they end up raising the prices. So that's forced appreciation in that community on top of it. But then you're there, you're established, you get to be the OG, right? The original person that's there in the community. So as other families move in and homes get finished, you're going to be like, oh, you know, where'd you come from? Where you move? You know, you get to be the grandpa of the community. So you get to be that person that will know everybody as they come in versus the last one. But I think it's always an advantage to buy early in a new construction community. And right now in Forney, there's so much development and you have so many choices of new construction communities that this is a good move and there's so much development that's heading out to the east we are busting out of the seams on the north side of dallas this is the next natural progression where a lot of that growth is happening so even though that is a good thing in forney it's also the bad thing because you're going to be always dealing with that and as they expand the roads and try to uh, relieve some of the traffic then you're going to be working around and you know and trying to commute around road construction on a continuous basis as well over the next couple of years so that's just something you 
got to keep in mind. You have to look at the short term inconvenience right now for the long term game. If you are looking at that from a kind of investment standpoint. Now, a lot of new homeowners, first time home buyers are people that, you know, this is maybe their second house, sometimes have a hard time understanding this type of scenario. And it's OK. You know, the thing is, is that's why we always encourage you to give us a call, you know, shoot us a text or send us an email or schedule a Zoom call so that we can talk through your situation, understand what you're going through, what your reasons are, how we can help you find a good deal, because we can find a good deal in any market. And we've been able to do it over and over and over again. Right now, as I mentioned, as a buyer, you have great opportunity to get some concessions and to, you know, find a deal and get some possible buy down of your rate and then opportunity to refinance in the future. Now, that's not the best thing for everybody, but it's what a lot of people are doing right now. So again, that's why we have to have this discussion to be able to work through your scenario, make it unique to you and your family, what may fit best for y'all. And maybe it's not a good time to move, but you know, that's why we say, just give us a call. We're not going to try to hard sell anybody into trying and buying a home right now or tell you this is the absolute best time to buy a home. Now, as an investor myself and owning multiple properties, I know that I can always find a deal and I'm always looking. So to me, it's more about the numbers. You know, it's about the math, regardless of what the interest rate, it's never what I pay for the asset. It's what I can do with the asset or what I can cash flow from the asset or what I can get in appreciation from the asset. So that's the way I look at it. But again, not everybody sees it that way, but we just need to understand you and your situation to get a better feel for what may be the right time for you, or maybe it's not. So we hope you found this helpful. Please comment below if you lived in Forney or used to live in Forney or you live there now, let us know what do you like about Forney or what do you not like about Forney? That's what we're curious and make sure to leave a comment because that really helps out the other viewers on this channel to get a good feel to not just hear from me, but to hear from you as well. And again, we hope you found value in this video and until next time. Well, we hope to show you around town.